Hey, how's it going? So today we are going to cover how to get great skin tones using the vector scopes. So this is a very common question is how do I get perfect skin tones? So the first thing I'll say to that is that skin tones uh, can be quote unquote perfect, but it's really a subjective thing. And there really is no such thing as perfect skin tones. There's accurate skin tones in the sense of that's what the vector scope is for or getting someone's skin tones as true to life um, as they can be. But then you're talking about two different worlds. You're talking about the commercial world. Well, actually, not even the commercial world. You're basically talking about maybe corporate videos where they want to get someone's skin tone to look accurate. But honestly, in most color grading situations, you're telling a story and the perfect skin tone is related to that story. So if you have a horror movie, for example, that perfect skin tone might be a very desaturated, gritty, green, blue skin tone. Um, if you're, you know, shooting a scene that's maybe out on the beach and it's supposed to be a happy, warm day, then skin tones might actually be very yellow, orange, reddish, and that matches the scene. That may not be what that person looks like, but that is the perfect skin tone for that scene. However, with that being said, um, I do want to show you something that's a very powerful tool to use as a colorist when you're grading because a lot of color correcting has to do with training your eye and until you have a super sharp eye where you can look at an image and immediately know what's wrong with it, immediately know what's wrong with those skin tones. And here they are in a very helpful tool to use um, are the vector scopes here, which I will show you how to use here in a moment. Today we're going to color correct and grade this and we're going to make her skin tones look great. So first things first, actually let me, I'll switch over to the waveform here. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to do a quick color correction to this. So I'm going to adjust the shadows a little bit. And this looks like a very corporate type of video. So I'm just going to really, you know, make this bright. A lot of corporate videos, they really want just kind of very bright, colorful images. So I just did that small little tweak there, increase the contrast and adjust the pivot there. And maybe I want to give it a slight, not so harsh shadow. So I'm going to raise the shadows a little bit. There we go. And then just the midtones a little bit down before after, before, after. Okay, there we go. And now I'm just gonna do, it's kind of green. So what I'm gonna do, because there's so much white in this image, one thing that's very easy to do when you have a lot of white, is just click on this auto white balance and pick a nice white spot. Maybe I'm gonna pick back here. Okay. And you know, that's one way to do it. I'm gonna undo that actually. Um, another way to do it is just simply to look at your scopes and I can see down here in the scopes that there's a lot of green. So I'm just gonna boom, balance that a little bit and I'll just do something like that. And then I'm going to, this also looks pretty desaturated. So now I'm just gonna increase the, the saturation a little bit. That's good for now. She looks a little orange, but that's what this lesson is for. So now I'm gonna go over to the vector scopes and here is a trick for those of you that have no clue what a vector scope is. Um, what this basically does, it's a color wheel. So if you look at this here, let me actually click here, bring it here. So if you look at it, you have red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, yellow. And that's kind of what this color wheel is over here to the left. And it basically just shows you the distribution of colors. And then this line here, which if you do not have that on right now, you can simply click here. That is known as the skin tone indicator. So here's the trick basically for this. You want your skin tones to fall down this line. It doesn't matter who the person is, um, whether it's male, female, or any skin tone from very dark skin to very light skin, all people, fall along this skin tone indicator line or flesh tone indicator line. Um, it's called a couple different things. And that's basically what it comes down to it. If your person's skin is falling down here, then it is accurate skin tone. 
So a very easy trick that you can do, I'm actually going to add an additional node here. And then so that we can see what her skin tone is, a trick you can do is go here. And then what I typically like to do is just simply zoom in like crazy and really zoom in. And really what you wanna do is fill the screen with her skin tone. So I'm just gonna do that and then expand it again so that you can see how close she is to that skin tone indicator line. So now what I'm going to do is just simply move this down here so you can see where it is. And it looks like she's a little bit on the yellow side. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to shift her here towards the magentas in red slider over here. So there we go. I'm just adding a touch of tint. I'm adjusting the tint, which you can see down here. I'm adjusting the tint. Click here and reset that. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. And so I'm kind of watching this here and her skin tone here. Because again, like I said, it's subjective. You want the line to be here, generally speaking, but there's no perfect spot that it should stick on that line. So I'm just kind of moving it a little over and then watching her skin to see what I like. And of course, this only works if you're working off a calibrated monitor. So maybe I'll do that. That looks pretty good to me. And now I'm going to reset this stuff again. And that's basically what I did. You can see we were here. And then when I tweaked it along the vector scope skin tone line, now we're here. I did a broad universal change for everyone, which, you know, we can ignore these people on the sides for now because we're only focusing on her. But you can see that she was a little green, kind of not looking too healthy. And now her skin looks a little bit better. Before, after. There you go, before, after, there we go. Okay, and so that is basically it. Very quick and easy lesson here on how to get great, solid, accurate, perfect, whatever you wanna call them, skin tones. This image started off here. And then we did that as the basic correction. And then we did that to get some solid skin tones. Okay, so I hope you learned something there and Definitely like this video, uh, comment with any questions or any other videos you'd like to watch, subscribe as well, um, and I will see y'all next time.